Cave proved herself as one of the best high school basketball players in Nebraska. Now she's looking ahead to another season with the Iowa Hawkeyes. And she's talking with KETV Newswatch 7's Eddie Messel about being a part of women's basketball history. A record-breaking career at Fremont that includes Nebraska Gatorade Player of the Year honors. The state record for three-pointers made in a season at 389. Taylor McCabe is third all-time in points scored while holding nearly every individual record at Fremont. I'm just glad that I still have that connection and I can go back and, and see, you know, the basketball track, my Gatorade banner, like all those, all those things up on the walls. That's so, so special. All those accolades and national attention led her down a path out of Nebraska, committing to play basketball at Iowa. I know that it was tough for a lot of people to understand why I was coming over here, um, but I hope that they kind of understand now and, and that I just, I felt that I needed to do something different and that this is where I felt I needed to be. And that decision, well, turns out to have been the right one. In her two years at Iowa, McCabe has been to back-to-back -back national championships, is a two-time Big Ten champion, and did it all while learning and playing behind one of the best college women's basketball players of all time, Caitlin Clark. People have said that we're in a rebuilding phase, but it's it's ridiculous to say that you're going to rebuild back up to a Caitlin Clark, someone who's literally never existed up to this point. So uh, <laughs> we we're we're getting some pieces together, and and we're going to be ready to go when it's time. Now, being in the spotlight, it wasn't easy. So looking forward to not having five or six cameras on us, literally at all times. But it was all worth it because what McCabe and her Hawkeye teammates did was about more than just them. It was about all women in sports. So we lose a game on the road. People still want to see us and they still want our autographs. And I mean, that is why they they came here. They didn't even really come there to see us, us win or they didn't even come to see, you know, Kaylin. They really just came to see us and the type of people we are and the type of players we are. And all those people are helping grow women's sports just as much as we are. And so they're just as important, honestly. This year's Hawkeyes team played in front of a sold out crowd or broken attendance record in 37 of their 39 games. That includes shattering the viewing record for the women's national championship game against South Carolina, which saw on average 18.7 million viewers and peaked at 24 million. The men's championship averaged just 14.82 million. I think that, you know, more, there's been more emphasis recently on women's soccer and women's tennis and um, and then, you know, hopefully like softball and volleyball and, and all those things going forward. And I think it, it, it could just be huge for for everyone. And I think this year is something that nobody will forget for a long time. With Clark now heading to the WNBA, it's time for a changing of the guard with McCabe at the forefront. People have told me since I got here that my size is kind of a limit on my abilities. And, and deep down, I just know that that's not true. And I know how our coaches think at this point. I know what they want from me. And so um, I'm going to I'm going to produce. I'm going to give it to them.